Welcome to the Cloud Foundry Morning Edition. This is a weekly show that covers what's happened in the past week in the Cloud Foundry world and what's coming up in the next week or two. You can also send in your own updates. Record yourself in video or audio for a couple of seconds, you know, minutes, talking about what's coming up in the Cloud Foundry worlds around you, and I will include that. You can also check out our blog at www.cloudfoundry.org blog. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Stormy Peters, VP of Technical Evangelism, and this is the Cloud Foundry Morning Edition, Episode 8. Um, so this past week, I went to the Grace Hopper Women in Computing Conference in Houston. I got to talk to a lot of people about Cloud Foundry. Um, I got my first Stormy and Clouds joke, which honestly had not occurred to me at all, as strange as that may sound. Um, and I got to explain a lot about why, um, why I believe Cloud Foundry is important for the future of the world. Um, so it's an open source cloud platform, and I totally believe, so, so I should back up and say like, I started working on the Linux desktop because I believed, the GNOME desktop, because I believed we needed a free and open source software desktop to have freedom, to have control of our lives, and so developers could create awesome things. Um, from there, I realized that all the apps were moving to the web, and the web was not open, and people couldn't get their data out, and they couldn't see how things were working, so they couldn't make sure they were secure. So I went to Mozilla, worked on open web, and now I really think apps are moving to the cloud on this whole 12-factor app, um, microservices, whether you write your own microservices or use all of those that are available across the internet. Um, developers are creating both bigger things in the sense of the problems they solve and smaller things in the sense of the app is, is more simple and the microservices are simple, not simple, but like um, smaller than not monolithic apps. Um, and that needs a cloud platform that is open source and um, available across many places so that developers have a freedom and choice to bring the best solutions to users, to bring what users need. So that's why I'm at Cloud Foundry. Um, and I got to explain that a lot last week, so you got to hear it now. Uh, there's also the other big event that happened um, very recently is BNY Mellon, who is um, a bank out of New York and and one of our, our member companies of the Cloud Foundry Foundation brought together like two dozen, a couple dozen um, CTOs, chief technology officers to the Silicon Valley and they spent two days digging into technologies and inviting key people to come speak to them about new technologies and one of the people they invited was our Cloud Foundry's very own CEO Sam Ramji and um, he was really excited about what he saw and heard there so there was a lot of support uh, for Cloud Foundry, BNY Mellon CIO um, Suresh Kumar spoke really highly of Cloud Foundry in front of the whole group, and so it was, it was really exciting to see or to hear from him um, what he saw about how financial services are getting into the cloud space and how Cloud Foundry um, can help them. Um, B BNY Mellon um, also did their first like external preview of some of their open source cloud software, um, Nexon. So I'll have more links on the blog about that if you want to see that. Um, other, other news, kind of accidentally found out from the one of the mailing lists, CFDev, that there is a group in the EU um, working off some kind of grant money called Pro Social Learn um, that helps build games that helps kids learn about um, social skills. So um, kids that are risk of, of social exclusion or um, lacking empathy or have like antisocial behaviors, they can play these games that then teach them those behaviors. And what was cool and why it's relevant to you is that um, they're actually exploring Cloud Foundry um, as as the one of the technologies they're going to use and they said just awesome things about Cloud Foundry as a game platform and called it a de facto standard and like really awesome to see that Cloud Foundry our open source cloud software is being used um, to help kids learn social skills um, from government grant money in, in Europe just totally cool to see that stuff coming together um, and we didn't even know it was happening so I reached out to them. Hopefully we can interview them here or have a blog on them or something. Um, on the same, so last month, week, um, there was some big news out of 18F, the cloud.gov work, which is truly awesome. And um, still saw some of that at Grace Hopper last week. Um, and there was, in, there was an interesting article that said, you know, we need to view this with skepticism because is 18F um, competing with the private sector? And I find this amusing because 18F is using open source Cloud Foundry software um, to build their platform. And so they are collaborating with all of those competitors um, and they're offering the, the free and open source software version of it. And if the government has a long 
the U.S. government has a long history of using open source software in their solutions, um, like Los Alamos National Labs uses Linux and builds on it. Um, so I think this is just more of the government um, creating more public good for its citizens. Um, so hopefully they continue to do awesome work there. Um, other news, kind of more internal news, we are hiring. We're hiring a project a project manager. So if you are a technical project manager interested in working on a really fun team, um, there's eight of us, um, totally awesome. And I think I mentioned before, people don't interrupt and people are super helpful. Um, one of the best teams we've ever worked on. Um, we're hiring this project manager. Um, you'll need to be technical. You'll work with a bunch of member companies um, across the board and be working you know, very closely with the people committing code and making sure that you know schedules and plans and things align across all companies. Um, if you're interested, um, take a look. Also a link on the blog. And um, other news... The Berlin Summit is happening in like two weeks, so if you haven't bought your ticket yet, um, buy it now. There's like an unconference on Sunday, then on Monday morning there is a bunch of um, really awesome training geared at you know operators, developers, beginners, experienced people, so there's training for everybody. And then the conference launches in the afternoon um, with some awesome, like I said before, we had so many proposals that we were able to put together a really awesome agenda of keynotes and breakout sessions over the next, over that two days. Um, and then on Monday night, we're going to have a meetup for meetup organizers. So if you will be in Berlin and you participate in meetups on a regular basis, please join us for that. It'll be after the event. Um, I think there's like a bar or restaurant in the top floor of the hotel. I think, believe that's where it will be. Um, email me if you'd like more information on that. And then I think I believe I spoke about before about PMC Notes, which is a GitHub group um, where all of the, the PMCs like post their updates. Um, they're starting to use it a little more actively now, so I highly recommend following that GitHub project um, to get updates um, of a technical nature from each of the different projects. And then I wanted to, um, so we're working on certification for the code to make sure that anyone who says they're Cloud Foundry is Cloud Foundry enough that any app developer could use them easily. Um, I'm also, we're also exploring what certification means at an individual level. So how could you become Cloud Foundry certified so you could put that on your resume and take that from one company to the next? So if you have opinions or ideas or, or want to discuss that, please reach out to me. Now's the time because we're just starting to figure out what that will mean. I'm so interested in having those conversations. And then I saved the big news for last, and you're probably wondering when I was going to talk about it. Um, if you noticed at the beginning, if you're watching this on YouTube, there is a new logo. There is a ninja rabbit there. I mean, he's kind of been hiding in the corner, but now he or she is front and central. Um, this is our new logo for community um, type stuff, the Cloud Foundry logo. And this ninja rabbit needs a name. So if you would like to help name the ninja rabbit, something Cloud Foundry like, something open source like, something whatever you think it should be, um, you can participate. So all you need to do is tweet your name idea to at Cloud Foundry. Um, we'll capture all the submissions. We'll create a list and we'll have a poll on the blog that everyone can also participate in and we'll vote on the name. Um, so get your submissions in before Halloween. Halloween in the U.S. is October 31st. Um, so get your submissions in for names before October 31st. I will show you the Ninja Rabbit again at the end of this podcast so you can take a look at it. And if you're listening while you're driving, please don't look right now. Um, wait, and you can look on the blog when you get back to your computer. Um, so submit your names. And, oh, I forgot meetups. Um, so I have a thing. like there, there's. So I'm giving a talk. I, I'm looking for more ways to capture um, where people are speaking about Cloud Foundry and where they're at. So I have lots of great meetup data that I can get up from meetup.com. And then I know about some things. Like I know that I'm giving a talk on Thursday at the SAP Tech Ed event, which I'm very excited about, um, giving a technical talk about what is Cloud Foundry with a demo. Um, and I know a few other people that are speaking. I know when Sam's speaking. But I would really love to have a way that we could all tell each other that we're speaking. And so if you have a tool that you think is really particularly great for that, um, let me know, because I would like to do that. But on the meetup front, we had like seven meetups last Wednesday. And I'm reaching out to all those meetup organizers to see how it went. If you were there, let me know. Let me know what you thought of those. And I don't think we have any night with seven this week, but we do have four on Thursday. So that's a pretty good runner up. And they're on like three different continents. So if you're in Australia, North America, or Europe, um, you can go to a Cloud Foundry event 
on Thursday. If you're not on one of those continents, um, check out the rest of them. There's a few every night of the week, I think. So have a great week, and I will catch you again next Tuesday. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and you are listening to the Cloud Foundry Morning Edition.